So I think as everyone recognises now with the proliferation of end-user devices that um, technology and data is more and more used in people's daily lives, whether they're catching a flight and need a boarding pass or where they're looking for a restaurant and using their device for that, the, um, the data and the information um, needs are being used much more on a daily basis. Um, and so therefore, I think everyone recognises it's, it's extremely important, both to individuals and to businesses as well. Asia is growing and with Malaysia's location and uh, offering uh, provides a good gateway uh, for businesses uh, who want to deploy further investment within the region, so it acts as, a, as, a, as an excellent gateway into Asia. The importance of data acquisition, well, it's all about informatics. Now, these days, everything is about analyzing big data and coming up with trends and uh, you know, forward, forward thinking and future views about how business will behave, how e-commerce will happen, how consumers will track changes in, in global marketplaces. And so data is a really key part of that today. These trends around e-commerce and mobile data, I don't think companies will adopt them. I think they're already adopting them today. I think um, there's a large proliferation of this data around the world. And as we get smarter appliances with end users, it's starting to get more important about how that data is distributed, how it's processed, how compute capacity happens, and in which parts of the world it happens. And I think um, wherever you find big commercial hubs, you'll start to see a lot more of that, that data acquisition and data growth. I don't think there's gaps in the market that SMEs in, in Malaysia need to be, uh, to be overly concerned about. I think um, there's big trends if they spot the trends and, and design their business models around that to be defensible, to be sustainable and to have competitive advantages with, with higher barriers to entry continuously in their business uh, where innovation is a key and technology can be a pretty good tool today for innovation. That's why we're seeing a lot of adoption of technology in the enterprise. I really see data centers and cloud as really powering the future. Um, and when, when I think about that, certainly uh, when you think about smart cities in the future, uh, the applications that run those smart cities, I believe, will be in the cloud. And so the cloud is really a resource and a place to be running these applications. So it's really across the board. It's not just for smart cities, it's for really everything we do. When I think about uh, the cloud, I, I do occasionally call it, it's a utility, it's a resource. We expect it to be there all the time. Uh, we don't really know where the electricity is coming for, from, where the electrons are coming from when we, when we think about um, uh, the grid and the network. It's a resource. We really don't know where our data resides, where it's coming from. Uh, ultimately, what we care about is that it's available when we turn on the, the computer, when we pull up that application, we expect our mail to be there. So from my perspective, that's a utility. We really don't care, again, where it's coming from uh, and, and how it was produced.